a full game we start a bit tentative but during the game we picked up our pace so. but for me I saw your own faith in the first half I really was good it was an easy first half we were a good game but the play was easy what did the coach say to the team? Uh, well, the coach didn't have a game. No, I, I wasn't finished. I can't play okay. so I'm going to talk to you. Well, I motivated the team. Okay. And they have time for it. They came and were focused. Okay. So I did over all by the situation at the beginning. So, you know, for the first time, it's going to be quite a lot. No. Who was there now? No. Can I get the name first? Coach oh, Scarlett. Huh? Coach oh, Scarlett. Assistant God. coach. Assistant coach. Now, your assessment of the first game? The assessment of the first, um, the first game was um, the Cayman team came heavily hard on us in the first 15 minutes. But we endured the, the attacks and we settled down gradually. The guys was a bit nervous, but they gradually get into the game and it come out a good result for us. And we're thankful for that. Now, what did the coach say to the team okay, at the end of the first half? Well, um, he just emphasized what he had what he had been saying to them from we are from we have been here. To keep focus, keep the game cooperation on the game, keep the game tight, the game and stick to the game plan and, and you'll go through. Now, is this Clarendon team a, a combination of all the teams in Clarendon? Yeah, this uh, is a, a all-star Clarendon team. We okay. pick all um, these players out of the league, mainly the Captain Bakery sponsored league. What kind of matchup are you expecting tonight? Well, we expect in a tougher game because we um, we overheard that um, some of the better guys yes. was not there last night, and so we expect a, um, a tougher game tonight. But we are prepared and we are hoping for the best. Now, finally, look at the crystal ball. Look at and tell us the scoreline. Well, we we just want enough. We, we are we are not predicting anything. We just want enough for a win. Okay, thank you, coach. <laughs> yes, gentlemen, respect. Oh, he got the list for me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Tell us about the car. Uh, it's a 2009 Chevrolet Spark. It has an 800cc engine in it, four doors with a hatchback, and an AM FM stereo CD player with air conditioning. You can probably go around the island at least a hundred times on a gallon of gas. Fantastic. Um, how long has people been trying to win the car? We've been trying to get this car away since the very first World Cup game, which We're speaking to her earlier on, she's over there, and pick her up now. She's going to be MC for this evening. We're going to car later on this afternoon, or, or this evening.
gentlemen, please stand for the National Anthem of Jamaica. and shines the air. And hey man, I, I, I cannot be oh, yeah. Super version of the national song. Of course, that is not our national Join anthem. Me tonight, while we welcome the teams, starting with the men's Cayman national team. Put your hands together for Coach Carl Brown. On the starting line tonight, we have Jermaine Brown. Number one, number six, Horace Nelson. Number 27, Leeton Elliott. Number 13, Renee Carter. Come on, everybody, let's start putting your hands together and keep them clapping. Ella Berry. Number 19, Mario Watler. Number 17, Benjamin Cupid. Number 20, Garth Anderson. Carson Fagan, number 22. Number 8, Chris Douglas. Number 14, Gary Whitaker. Number seven, Calvin Escobar. And number 25, Kingsley Wellington. On the bench has substitutes, number 12, Mario Denal. Number five, Tom Elliott. Number 10, Mario Waller. Number 17, Benjamin Cupid. And number 15, John Kelly. Number 23, 
Jaria Sanchez, number 16, Eric Brown, 21, Nikolai Hill, and number four, Junior Fisher, and number nine, Richard Grant. That, my friends, is the Cayman National Men's Team. Evening will be Alfredo Whitaker, the most experienced upper referees in the Cayman Islands, a World Cup referee. Highest ranking. I think, he, I think he's retired now. He's Alfredo. A lot of experience behind his belt. I was telling Mr. Bailey, Livingston Bailey, that the standard of refereeing in the Cayman Islands has improved around 200%. The last 10 years or so. Improved uh, significantly. So the Cayman team should be a very strong team this evening. Notice that Gary Whitaker is on it. Still number 14. He's there. Man who got a goal for them in the last match. Third goal, number three. Beautiful to take down right there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching the opening matchup or the opening portion of the game between the Cayman Islands and the visiting team from, from Clarendon, as you heard it. It's an all star team. We, we, we were competing with the music, unfortunately, we couldn't help it. They say they're an all-star Clarendon team, the best of the best. Coming out of the Captain's League. 
Captain Barrel, no doubt, in the league in Clarendon. And he chose the best players. In fact, the Cayman Islands has a population of some 50,000, 55,000 people make it. And I think in one constituency in Clarendon has more than that. Voting people, not talking about under 18, but voting people has more than 50,000 people in one constituency. So again, the comparison isn't fair. 55,000 total, Jamaica's population in fact, some 2.8 million people. Trying to let it through, or oh, they'll not get there this afternoon. Leighton Elliott, the man who tried to put the ball through just now. Playing in defense. Leighton Elliott. So nothing to write home about yet, ladies and gentlemen. Elliott passing the ball back to the goalie. Search of his outside right, offside. Making a point is uh, linesman Dwayne Banks, West Bay like myself. How's it doing? We are from the West, we are better than the rest. Hey man, had a wonderful first half. Oh, look at that. I think it ricocheted off the, somebody. Fired! And I must make a point too that came and goalkeeper Jermaine Brown. In fact, some say he's number two, some say he's number one. I would say maybe just like the sprint event, you know, in one meter, in the, you know, in the Olympics, we have two number one. We have uh, the professional who's playing out of, of Europe. I'll tell his name in a moment. And Jermaine, both of them are excellent goalkeepers. Trying to send through his centre forward. Oh, I'll see the referee. Referee, our experienced referee. In the Olympic, we had two silver medalists. There was no third place. In the Cayman, we have two gold medalists in the goalkeeping department. Oh, it's a beautiful ball, ladies and gentlemen. Taking out the crowd, taking the ball out the crowd. Came in having ball possession at the moment. Oh, look at the, oh, just look at that true pass. Well fed, can he make the cross? Table was set there for him. He's gonna get a corner kick. Crowd keep building up. So he's going, he's going for football. Corner kick taken quickly. Kick out. Throwing. As people continue to come in in support of football in the Cayman Islands. I um, see the Jamaican flag as promised. I'm not sure why. Part there you see a lot of flags coming out today. Beautiful ball, stolen by Elliot. Rastaman playing, uh, he, has a, he, he had a brilliant second half. On Saturday, oh, look at this, could get a shot, blocked. My goodness, my goodness. Fire, rocket! Oh, first was a bullet. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. From sign up one to the score and hold a goal. An early goal again. Coming so close to scoring just now. The goals are gonna come and think fast and fairer for the local boys. So in preparation, final stage is a preparation for the Digicel Cup in, uh, in, in, in Guadeloupe in October, October the 9th. Hustled, harassed, kicked off his foot. Should get a throw in. Uh, Dwayne Banks was right there. Watchful eye, 
Jason Graham. Philip Berry played very well in the Digicel Cup here. Oh, in the net. Oh, goodness. Came yeah, man, keep looking. They want to score. It's all came out at the moment. All came out at the moment. Barry, Philip, Gart Anderson. That is Gart, harassing his, uh, his opponent, is Gart. Just look at him. He's a rusty man at a brilliant match. Fire, up for a shot of goal, off target. Rusty man, I was, I was asking Mr. Bailey as to why he got a card. And last night, I remember the card, those of you who have seen the match. It was because of uh, diving, he said, in the goal area. He dived. That's why he got the card. Trying to get a penalty out of the referee. Who himself is some Clarendon. Mr. Bill is some Clarendon too. And you know, in fact, he said the coach at present for the Clarendon team was this coach too. Coach them in school. Vitika is going to give a free kick to K-Man. Alfredo. Goal and opportunity should be a, what is it, a right footed shot, curve toward the goal. Good opportunity for us to see a set play from the local boys. Earlier days, Aguero would take a shot, would have done it. Three players over the ball. One is shadowing the ball so the goalie cannot see it. Oh, did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? You didn't see that, I'm sure. You missed it. <laughs> Living dangerous at the moment, are the Clarendonians. Unbelievable, what a shot. Clarendon is living dangerously. Oh, Whitaker. Fired. Okay, man, let's put on this best 11 at the moment. Notice there's a great player who's playing also. Had a great tournament. I'll pick him up in a minute. Good skill. Mary. Rene Carter. Great player. Here he is. Here he is. Somewhere over there. Rene Carter. Tremendous player. Could get a goal. Clarendonians continue to live dangerously. Another free kick. He's gonna get a card. No nonsense referees, Alfredo. Vitica. Yeah, here are some scholar supporters coming in from the cold. The scholars, the scholars. Scholars is a top football team. They came in Ireland for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. They are in existence for some 30 years now. I think this year they're, they're going, they will be celebrating their 30 years reunion. To get a corner. We have a set of supporters who have never left them all along. Corner kick. Looks like Rene Carter is going to take it. Short kick. Is it Rene? No. Who is it? Yes. Gart is there. Did he get it? Yes, kept him very nicely. Now, put it into the space, but not get there. Coach Brown. Number 13 is definitely Rene Carter. And 
of the great players on the team. And a tremendous digital cup about three weeks ago. Six, ladies and gentlemen, huge six. Boom! Over the boundary. Him crashing into the boundary. Board. Philip Barrett. Goodness. Oh, they're, they're not the way the client owners want to live. Not the way they want to live, ladies and gentlemen. Rastaman is trying to get it. Dread. Okay, man, ladies and gentlemen, beating the, their opponents to the ball. Not a ball position at the moment, this came out. Put this to them, pass the ball around. Back to Clarendon, giving away. There's the Clarendonians. Trying to go through the middle. Stopped in his truck. Then third in was the man who was trying to go through the middle. Play on, says the referee, Alfredo. Here's a cross. Here's a cross by the Dread. My goodness, Dread couldn't get the cross in. Beautiful ball, ladies and gentlemen. Needed to let it off. I want to see more running off the ball. Oh. Coming out of some fire right there. Green and But I'm telling you that the, 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 the refereeing standard in Cayman has improved tremendously. Those of you who followed soccer at the Annex Field, the primary school in Georgetown. My goodness. There's a goalkeeper off his line like a flash. Looking to set the table for his team. First game ended in a 2-1 win, come, come from behind, 2-1 win by the visitors. After the Cayman Islands made a lot of changes, the visitors made a lot of changes too, but I think it upset the local boys more than it upset their our visitors. Long ball, beautiful ball downfield. Did he get there? Yes. A lot of room to use up. Rastaman is in the middle. over the upright. Excellent run by there by Ashton Bennett. My goodness. What a run by Ashton Bennett. And Kevin Mighty was there in the middle waiting for the ball. Here he is. Kevin was saying to him, why didn't pass it to me? Decided to take it himself as Ashton Bennett. Close to scoring. Keeper German Brown is very lucky right there. Oh, nice chip. Beautifully done, Brazilian style. Kick back, back to the local boys. Whitaker, 
Oh, look at oh, look at that pass, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that pass by Whitaker coming back in defense to help. That, that's the old Whitaker of, of old. That's the Whitaker of old. The old Whitaker of old. My goodness. Yeah, which of all they saw that what, what Gary can do. Sorry that he left football about five years ago, somewhere there. I've been at the peak of his career now. But that's the kind of Gary which I knew. Not a fool. Short corner kick. Show to the castle figure and tell him to come this side. Here's where we need Tom Elliott now. Tom, Tom Elliott in, 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 the, in, in the goal area. Played last night after many, mo many months of not playing because of an injury. A broken foot. Dangerous again. They always look so dangerous. There we got it now. Will he get there? Oh, my goodness. Jermaine Brown letting the spectators put them. Almost getting a, a heart attack there. Oh, look at that spin. Calvin Escobar, Kakema, number seven. New player. Free kick. Headed back in the goal area. Oh. It's a gift. Here they come again. Can he beat his man? Kevin Mighty. Dread. Barry. Anderson, change of the, the angle of the wall. Oh my goodness. Final touch. So let him down right there. Hey man. The center half. Nobody's home for the local boys. to the choir, ladies and gentlemen, it's Coach Brown. Oh, did you, you see that, that silk touch there? Went out. Touch of class by Romaine Halstead. Corner kick. Ladies and gentlemen, are watching the first half action matchup between the Cayman Islands and, and the visiting Clarendon team on a Sunday evening at the ballpark known as the Troon Bottom Sports Complex. Ball kick. He's going to get it. Kick the corner sink by Rennie Carter. 
Escobar who brought it across. Outside. It's a goal kick award to the visitors. 20 minutes of the first half is this story. Make it 23 minutes. Close there. Barry. And a movement. Will he get there? Yes. Carson Fagan. Carson Fagan right there. <laughs> Played uh, in a World Cup matchup <laughs> against Bermuda. Came and, came and I lost the game by three goals to one. But of course, they tied in Bermuda. Away goal. 1 1 was the scoreline down there. Needing to get a shot off somebody. Here's a cross. Offside. That's the big, because those people weren't complaining over there. So that's the offside. There was no complaints on this side. Oh, the, there are other linesmen over there. Oh, the whole spectator over there is linesmen. So let me complain. Double team right there. <laughs> Foul says the referee. Kings of the Wellington is playing centre half for K man number 25. Corner kick. Oh. oh, all right, thank you, thank you. Camera fell right there. Let's try to look at the Trying to get this, the player number 20 was uh, Dean Sterling. And number seven was Ashton Bennett. Oh, rifle to the goal. That's outside. Coach Ian Harris must be happy. Very happy right there. With that shot. Close to scoring. So the game has even out at the moment. Trying to dress it the way he wanted it. Ashton in search of the dread. Oh, look at the outside left coming nicely. First touch, let him down. Okay, man, going to bring it out. Got a confidence in each other, the Cayman players.
still looking for some goals in this matchup. I'm sure we're going to see some. Still haven't seen any goal yet in this matchup. Coming close to score, scoring. The local boys hit the upright, and the visitors just pa twice, just past the goal area. Should have kept it down. Pass it again. Pick the ball up from this angle. Get it back up, back down. Ping pong at the moment. Goalkeeper uh, Brown. Fed with the ball with uh, Barry. This is Gart. Change it down nicely. That was uh, Carter. Rene Carter, Cayman Islands, passing the ball around very nicely. Stopped. Should get it through his game, man. No. Then Sterling, I'm going to take the throw. Dressing the ball nicely. Trying to find the drain. Mighty. Okay, man. Goalkeeper out of his box. Here's a cross headed out. Carter. There's Renee Carter. Still Renee. Chipping it inside. Gart. Good pass on the ball. Offside, yes. Looks like Gart. Corner kick. Card is built up nicely. Still nobody has gone over to the corner kick. Ball has been spotted. Here's the corner kick now. Carter is there. Well taken by the goalie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go. 
taken away by the local boys. Here's Rene Carter. Uh, the, the, the visitors are playing the offside trap. You can see that. They have to be so very careful about the offside trap. They have to move in unison, as we all know. One man is caught there, they're going to be in trouble. Good dribble, ladies and gentlemen. Nicely done, but might have gone up before. I don't think he saved it. Want to be a goal kick? Elliot, Leighton, Elliot. Art Anderson. Look at that silky touch, ladies and gentlemen, by Carter. Rene once more. Oh, beautiful ball. Let's wait on the cross. Oh, trying to get my camera a good angle. Get it out. There's a referee to the halfway line. watching the closing stages of the first half. Closing stage of the first half of this matchup. About nine minutes left in the first half. No injury so far, nothing major. It's gone almost on. The 9-1-1 hasn't been called at all. Kicked out. Somebody's hurt now, what is it? Somebody's hurt, finally, but he's okay. Just as I said, that 911 has been called. It's okay. Coach Ian. Dan Sterling. Turn the ball to the dread who, who kicked it out. Back to the visitors. Back to the locals. the ball to the goalkeeper. Over the boundary. Will, 
when, when I get there today. Nothing to cheer home about it for either team, no goal. Put it back by... Horace Nelson. Played for Camperdown. Nelson, good man in cup. He was telling me that Ricardo Fuller is his best friend, a very good friend. So Nelson, our number six player. Free kick. Yes, there's a cross headed out. Carter doing some damage up there. Five minutes or so left in the first half. Oh, beating the man nicely. There's a cross. Rifle to the goal. Oh, looking for the first goal of the matchup. Foul. Free kick, it's about four minutes left. Claren doing it in search of numero uno. Oh, super taken down by Brown. Almost instantaneously feeding it. It's forward. Oh, back healing nice like a Brazilian. Here's the cross. Oh, my goodness. First touch let him down. They look like Whitaker. First touch let him down right there. Was it Vitekan? I'm quite sure it was there. It was mighty. Mighty. Looking at the card right there. Dean Sterling given the opportunity. It's a different free kick, it looks like. Always right position. In the right position is Brown. Very good, good anticipation he has. Anticipates quite well, he's Brown. That's Brown. That draw, that draw no to from to Making a point is uh, ninth, the second referee. Kevin, oh, look at him chest the ball down. Been tackled by three defenders. Outside. I'm 
having a good match with this player. Back to the Cayman Islands. Oh, beautiful ball, but it's too long, too long. Jermaine, dressing the ball is Elliot. <laughs> Gonna watch the ball go outside. Oh, beautiful play, stealing it. Been hounded. Can you get the cross in now? Movement of the ball. Kicked off his foot, beaten to the punch right there. It was uh, Calvin Escobar, He's beaten to the punch. Barry, we take it. Escobar. No cheering, no nothing so far in this matchup. Somebody needs to get behind the team, one way or another. We need a spark. I think there's gear over there. Not much time left. We're going to end a moment now. Give them a minute extra time. We're going to pick it up in a minute. He's trying to set it. Could be about a minute extra time, if any. There it is, one minute. What I thought. Coming to you live on the wreck from the National Stadium in Georgetown. Gossa, the Jamaican say. Gossa. Here's a cross. Oh, too forward. Too forward, ladies and gentlemen. Went too forward. Goal kick, nine moments of the, the first half. Kevin Mighty playing it back. Back to Mighty. He will get hit this time. He's outside. Throwing. Barry. And he takes all the throwing this side of the field. Barry. Good. Oh, what's stolen right there. Nice and stolen. Been fed, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the local boys. Played inside. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, score line is 0 0. Ladies, what team are you chained for? What team are you chained for? You don't cheer for anything? Huh? We have friends on both teams. We have friends on both teams. Okay. Girls are not wagonists at all. No wagonists. It's ordinary persons coming to watch the matchup. Not jumping, you know, on the bandwagon. There's a car being rolled out.
$25,000 in the bottom of the car. Been there since March. I've been trying to give it away for free from up from March. For free. Buy us some twelve thousand dollars. $96,000 Jamaican dollars. Uh, uh, what is it? No, $960,000. Oh. oh, that was close, but no cigar. Because no luck so far in giving the car away. Nine to six thousand Jamaican dollars, value that. Someone from Clarion that would love to take the kick. Somebody from Mayfair would like to take the kick. Or from from Trout Hall would like to take the kick. can do it. Car for free. No winner. Can you believe that? Let's get somebody from Clarendon and entertain the case. Somebody from Clarendon. Somebody from Benbe.
referee was trying to get his attention a long while ago. We're ready. Over the ball is uh, Ashton Bennett. And of course, Mighty. Was it Mighty? No, it wasn't Mighty. Yeah, the job was there. The man who got struck right there. Most experienced of a referee, Alfredo Whitaker. Free kick from downtown. Award to the visitors. How's it? We get about seven meters inside the one half. Still looking for the first goal of the matchup. Taking away. Okay, man. Changing the angle nicely. Is uh, Nelson? Is it Mr. Nelson? Kicked out. Here's the ball, boy. Rene Carter will take the uh, throw Back to Rene. Back to Fagan outside. Fagan. Gart. There's a cross, headed out. Very dangerous. Two against, one against one right there. Headed to the, oh, beautifully done. Brown having a great match as usual. Jermaine. across the goal area. Very good intention. Very difficult to score from that angle. Well, it's best to bring it across the area, and he did just that, but it was blocked. Rene Carter, no hurry to take the corner kick. No, it will not be Rene. Short corner kick. Could get a shot at the goal, clear shot. In the net! My goodness, what a miss. And it hauled himself right there. Was Carson Fagan with us? And it hauled himself. It was Carson Fagan. Looks like Carson Fagan to me. He's down. Have a word. The player, two players. The, the director in the choir, ladies and gentlemen, is Coach Brown. Fighter director. Look at the director. 
Director extraordinary. Where's the ball? I have no idea where the ball is. I think it's a foreign right here. Back to the local boys. Very sportsman-like approach by both teams. Of course, this is going to give the local boys very good match practice as they leave for Guadeloupe around the 6th or the 7th of October, I think it is, or the 5th, whatever day they leave in. Oh, beautiful ball, here's Rene, as he got a to oh, touch of glass. Chipped it inside. Tucker from behind. Here Whitaker. Well, that was the kick awarded to the local boys. He's gonna take it. Somebody's on the line right here waiting. What is he gonna do? I think he's gonna make the cross. Looks like he's gonna make the cross. from off the ball. Free kick. Ashton going wide, taking it wide, being hounded also with Ashton. Beautiful ball, crisp ball. Mighty. Ball is back like a flash. Join in. It's Carter. Bring the ball inside. That's Nelson. Quiet game so far. Can I pick it up? Shane Thomas is the man in goal. Visitors are getting a lot of kicks, free kicks. Marlon Ellis will take it. Headed out. Whitaker. Here Whitaker, ladies and gentlemen. No. 
And we'll go through the middle, then hound it. Free kick once more. This time around, we'll go to the local balls. Uno, zero, zero is the scoreline. There's Rene Carter. Slight tackling when he's gone. Oh, what a ball, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, free kick. Kids having fun by themselves. Jam in the air at the moment. Big traffic jam in Georgetown. Brown is off his line like a flash, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Fabian and speed to head it out. Ball is back, a little play. Talking to somebody on the phone. Somebody got his private number. Okay, man, you need her for goal. To start scoring, can't score, can't win a tournament. I'd love to see two or three goals from them in this tournament, but when going to. Play down in Guadeloupe. We could get three or four goals in a pocket in this in the second half of the great. Kids are getting those, uh, no, you know, making kids would love to have this. Oh, high kick, luckily, not called. Not called, it was a high kick. Trying to find Gary Whitaker up front. Flank. Is there about the middle? Nobody's in the middle yet. There's a dread arriving. Rifle. Oh, what a shot! Oh, magnificent shot! Magnificent shot! Oh, superb shot! Oh, the scotch 
counter. Oh, what a shot. A sizzler. Sizzling up. Is that again? Okay, is that your wife right there? Your wife? What's her name? Huh? Glenda. <laughs> A shot, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was a magnificent structure. Got the dread, Rastaman. A lot of vibration was in that. Rastaman vibration. Trying to beat this man. Should get a throw in. Kept it nice, the Vicarta. <laughs> Goalkeeper's playing center half, is Brown. He's the new center half. He's going to try to press forward. Putting men forward now, five of them forward. Punched back up feet in the center half the goal gives center. You gotta get back. Gotta get back in his goal. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Gotta get back. Living dangerously at the moment. His goalkeeper Brown. A lot of forwards up there. With the cut. No, that's not with the cut. Good skill right there. Did you see those players, ladies and gentlemen? Putting on a show right there with the local boys. A lot of changes in the making. Richard Grant is the man who's on. Popular decision. Attack. Rene Carter. Chip going inside. Still Rene playing, laying it back. Long searching ball, but it's too long. Goalkeeper Shane Thomas. Back in the in the. In the uh, came and trying to press forward at the moment. 
with a lot of players up front as they came out. A lot of players are trying to play it long. Stolen from Africa. Being hounded. Should get a goal kick. Brown getting a lot of exercise and a lot of uh, playing time before the tournament. Jamie for the Jill is on. Jamie. Is it Jamie? Yes, Jamie's gonna go on. And off goes. Romain Halstead, the man is all. This is a goal kick. I think they're ready now. Pressure was able to get the ball off. Oh, could get a good cross. Let's wait for the cross. Chipping it nicely. Oh, look at that play. Just punching it out. Somebody's hurt. Down. Ball is kicked out. So the story, ladies and gentlemen, is we're winning the second half. What is this? You know, in the second half, some 20 minutes or so in the second half. We haven't seen a goal yet in this matchup. Stalemate at the moment. Are we going to get a goal? Huh? Are your best friends? Best friends from school days? What school did you go to? Except for the primary? From that? And then where? Huh? Friend and out. Did you go to the high school there? George X. College. Oh, you're going to college now. Oh, what, what, what are you studying? You too? Same thing? Accounting? Okay. Very nice. Two young Caymanians right here getting an interview with them. Trying to add some life to the game. Now the change is in the making. Leon Callaghan is on. Looks like uh, Dean Sterling is off. Where's the ball? Trying to figure out where the ball is. Oh my goodness. We need some excitement for the last few minutes of the match. Halfway through the second half. What I do know is Kimban is sending a lot of the players forward and they're playing the long ball. Trying to go through. At times they bypass in the middle. In the midfield. Look at that. Look how many players forward. One, two, three, four, five players forward. Down the flank. Oh, yes, it's a good ball. Could get a shot off when it. Oh, weak shot. Weak shot. It was only somebody that were going on to it. So, Cayman is taking a chance. And we're playing one less in defense in anticipation that an extra man up front can help. Outside. Pop 
punch, beat them to the punch right there. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that shot. My God. Oh, oh, the game is getting pretty hot now. Throwing a water to the visitors, a free kick, looks, looks like a free kick. That's where free kick. Ten, ten yards back, says Alfredo Whitaker. So the traffic jam over there. I'm gonna pick it up from right here. The ball has to come somewhere over here. Go ahead. Trying to. Okay, Casa Fagan is in trouble. I think Casa Fagan, a red card again. My goodness. I think Fagan, I'm sure you got a red card in the last match against, against, uh, Digicel Cup. You got a red card again, so it was Bermuda. Last game we played, so we had to play just about this amount of time also in the second half with 10 men. Although we won that, it was drawn, but we, won, we got two penalties which, which, which weren't given. But we played the tape, so we got two penalties. He's been escorted by Gart Anderson off the field. Castle Fagan, ladies and gentlemen. Coach is not pretty much all. Let's pick up the ball. It would be very interesting to speak to the referee to find out what happened. Captain. Where's Renee Carter? Not not able to keep it in. Trying to chip it into the two forwards. Oh, could get a shot. Rocket! My goodness, corner kick. and play it on field. Okay, man, at the moment they're bypassing the midfield to get it up front, sending many players up front. Send another man on, Coach Brown.
Has he got some tricks up his... Oh, look at that. Chipping it in. Well, he's there. Brown having a very good match. Excellent match, Brown. Brown is seen to be where the ball is going to be played. Reads the, reads the game quite well. He's a goalkeeper. Okay, man. Search of Carter. In his tracks. Stopped in his tracks right there. Rene Carter. Who's up there to get it? Here he goes again. Trying to get the ball out very quickly. Oh, oh it's another rifle right shot in. As we approach the end of the game, you see another goal yet? Looking for a goal any moment now. Another change. On for K man, Nikolai Hill played yesterday. See the forward. Goal kick. Gary Whitaker is off, of course. Popular player is Gary. Still popular. Curtis Gary, why did he play the good? Oh, a good 45 plus 30. You get a map. 45 plus 30 minutes. Another ball is here. Another change in the making. Two players coming on. Number four. Junior Fisher. Elliot looks like he's going on too. Tom Elliot. Tom plays in defense. Fisher might be in midfield. And Garth Angus is off. Search and kick. Oh, right. Good height. Missing the ball. Keeping the wall nicely. Elliot.
high goodness. We're not going to see the goal in this matchup this evening, it looks like. from the coach. Elliot. Rene, a good long ball. A lot of times we've seen this play. Was far enough for the Cayman team. <laughs> Elliot, center off spot. Let's see the long ball once more. Search and kick down field. Traffic jam, ladies and gentlemen. Big traffic jam. Coming out of it nicely. Nikolai taking the ball over the traffic. Some point in time, we're going to see that long search and kick down field. Two of them are offside, should the ball have played. Well offside. Offside. Long offside. Long offside. Long offside. Changes in the making, ladies and gentlemen. His off looks like. On is uh, Eric Brown. Very speed, Eric Brown. No, he's not car to his off. I'll figure it out in a minute. But Eric Brown is definitely on. Speed, Eric Brown. Eight for 13. Other things happening. Oh, difficult to keep up with so many things. I'm gonna see if the speed of everyone can give them a goal. Or speed it. Seven minutes, eight minutes left in this matchup. Now we haven't tested the speed of Eric Brown yet. I'm sure we're going to test it very soon. So we have some fresh legs for the came on up front. Nikolai and Eric Brown. Kick. Wow.
get a shot off. Fired. Oh, magnificent save. That was a magnificent save by Brown. Make it look so easy, like he's picking a mango off his tree. Carter inside. One two punch right there. Stand moments of the game. Take it to the Caymanians Caymanians if they want to win. They have to put an extra man or two up front. Can he beat two men? Turning back. Back in the space. Bring it back to Carter. As he has a left. There's a the, oh, super up cross. A lot of forwards are up for the Cayman team. Second point is an offside. And nine minutes of the matchup. Might get an extra minute or two. Maybe as much as three minutes extra. Change, five for 15. Coleman is coming on, Et Etwal Coleman. And Davian Mitchell is off. Yet. 
side right. so much like Ronaldinho right there. Oh, beautiful ball, Brown. Nobody's running off the ball. Nobody's running off the ball. Nikolai Hill said he wanted it right there rather than down there. Elliot, how did this man? A foreign. Pulling things down as a coach. Why 
think about the game, you personally? I think that the first half last night was better than this game. Really? Okay. Graham has been around football for years and years and years. Years and years and years. And was a great supporter of the team. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match it was. Evil Luke cuts his into a top half for the Cayman Islands, striking the ball, the crossbar, and then Kevin coming in the second half, letting loose the scorcher that brought at the stage. And then the Cayman Islands came out with all important goals. And I'm hoping that the ball is going to be from here because goals are what are going to win matches down there. So they have to score goals. Hands score goals to Kevin. We're going to wish our team the best and then leave. And after that round, we're hoping to see them in Jamaica, final stages. Coach Brown, best the luck. Coach the ball. Boss? Boss, yeah? Boss, yeah? Yeah, shake it, shake it. Big shake it, yeah? Yeah, I want to get No, no, no. How I you feel about the game? Yeah, man, good, man. Big respect goes on. All I came on this go field, but good, good that game here, man. Trust me. Wow. That, that, that game here, that game here, hard fought. You understand? Really? You know, like some little game where easy for came on or easy for Jamaica. That game here was hard fought. Okay. Came on coming back off a 2-1 loss. You understand? So came on supposed to feel good after that win here. What's yeah. your name? Eh? What's your name? Me? My yeah, ex-former came on. Superstar, Dominic Pearson. Anybody we see our interview, I suppose, no say that you, yeah, a bad baller. You understand? So, me not, me not, true, me not play the team, me not bad mind the team. So, me not tell you straight. The team do good. Anybody we see that game, yeah, supposed to feel good as I came on, yeah. You know what I'm Came on, beat Clarence and All Star. One love. All right, my brother.